Right, hello, welcome, welcome all to Pete's Plastic Playground, uh, the latest visit to uh, to my man cave here. A um, couple of weeks since I last spoke to you, and um, thanks for all the, uh, the likes and comments to the last video. I think the the actual last one was um, quite irregular because I posted a um, a short video from a, a train simulator game that I've got on the Sony PlayStation. Uh, so um, credit to my my boy who has a YouTube channel called No Name Game. He's into gaming in a big way and um, more as well as being very keen as all kids are on uh, on YouTube these days. So it's not just us old blokes who like sticking plastic together that are here. Um, so my son um, has got his channel called No Name Game. So if you're into gaming at all, um, No Name Game is, is his YouTube channel where he streams um, games that I haven't got the first clue about what's going on. It's just a blur of colours, but he commentates very well. Um, so he stitched that video together for me of the um, train simulator where I was driving an Intercity 125 in Great Western livery from Reading to Paddington and he, he stitched it together and somebody made the comment it reminded them of the um, the sort of four minute journey from London to Brighton famously uh, filmed years and years ago. So, um, so since then I've actually been doing some modelling. <laughs> so rather than just showing you, um, uh, you know, boxes to open on this video although if you look carefully <laughs> about there there is there is one kit that I'm going to show you and there's a little happy story behind it um, but generally speaking I've been pressing on with the Hercules and the Bloodhound with its um, launcher and uh, trailer and Land Rover which um, I'll give you a close-up look of in a minute um, so yes on on Friday uh, home from work and um, just having a little look through the Facebook marketplace because I'm actually looking for a, a dab radio alarm clock because mine is broken and um, uh, <laughs> in the nearby search came this Airfix Lancaster this one it's the uh, the latest version of the uh, Lancaster Mark III B Mark III and uh, it's new un uh, unopened and boxed um, all the cellophane is um, sealed inside and uh, the upshot was I got it for a tenner it was an unwanted gift so I drove up to um, into South Oxfordshire where this item was located it's about half an hour drive from here and um, knocked on the door this very nice lady answered and she said oh yes yeah. she said somebody brought it for my eight-year-old uh, of course immediately I felt quite guilty but um, anyway, she was. I made sure she was absolutely happy, and I explained to her that it was actually worth about thirty quid new, and um, she was happy to let it go for a tenner. So I've now got this um, this lovely Lancaster bomber to build, and as I say, it's one of the later mould variants, uh, all sealed in the bag, complete with the um, the instructions and the decals and so on. So lucky day on Friday, and it was Friday the thirteenth. So um, I'm, us Taurians don't believe in all that rubbish, <laughs> but it worked out nicely for me. I'm going to build this version, the RAF version, based at East Kirkby in Lincolnshire. And uh, I quite like that um, high visibility tail section there, tail fin, vertical stabiliser. <laughs> Thanks to those that have um, commented about the, uh, you know, the correct name for the the, the, the wings, the little wings at the back, <laughs> when we were talking about the F16. Of course, there are horizontal stabilizers, and these would be vertical stabilizers. So, um, so yeah, I really like that color scheme, and um, I can see me building this sooner rather than later because although I've been threatening to build that gannet, and I'm still in the mood to build the gannet um, when the Hercules is finished. Um, given that I've got three weeks off over Christmas three weeks from December the 11th I pack up so I'm going to make sure I get out get out here and do a fair old bit with this lovely 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 Lancaster bomber model so there we are it's really put me in the mood to do it so um so yeah that was that um so since we last spoke um, I'll take the phone out of the tripod in a minute and let you have a closer look but um, I've been doing this old Hercules which you can just see in the corner here I'll, I'll move the camera down so you can actually see it while I'm talking um, 
and if I move my seat down you might yeah you can still just see me so this old Hercules it's a kit of its age you know it's um it's difficult to make anything decent of it with my my sort of skill levels I mean there are those that would make it look look lovely I've got loads and loads of little touching up to do where the camo hasn't gone on quite right or here there and everywhere I've used Revel Aquacolor which I find um I put the dark colour on with the airbrush and um, I you know I tend to resent I said it before I resent the time with the air clean the time spent cleaning the airbrush um, so it's part airbrush and part hand painted and frankly um, I find that that revel paint goes on so well with a brush that um, I'm inclined to uh, I'm inclined to use just use it just use it with a brush generally anyway um, and then last weekend um when i didn't speak to you i spent some time with the um with the land rover and the missile now the missile i've looked on google there are loads and loads of different finishes there's one that's just in olive green there's one that's in black and white there's another that's got some um, yellow booster rockets and so on and i tend i, I went for the the brightest colored one because i just find it a bit more interesting so what I'll do now is I'll take the phone out of the um, the tripod, just uh, pause you there, and then let you have a, a better look at the models as they are on the bench. So hold tight, everybody. Okay, so here's my um, my Bloodhound missile, and uh, I'm going to fess up straight away. I tried to do some uh, some bands between the. Uh, the, the fins and the black tip and it all went horribly wrong so um that's um let's, let's just uh get that into focus that little area is going to have to be done again um and that will be my job this evening just to sort that out and just to have a general tidy out get straighten up the lines between the the red and the yellow but on the whole i actually found this to be quite a quite satisfying little model to build actually um something different isn't it in actual fact, I've got another one up in the stash, but I won't get it down. But I've got a Bristol, another one um, to do. So it might be interesting to have another one queuing up to go in the back of the Herc. Um, the Land Rover and the trailer went together fairly easily. Um, fairly basic stuff, no windows in the Land Rover. But I decided to do the, the canvas roof in a sort of olive drab green. Um, slightly different colour to the trailer and the launcher. The launcher was an interesting little build with all the with all the sort of framework to do. Let's get a bit more light on the subject. There, how's that? I don't know how that launcher got packed away and transported because it would, um, there's no room for it on the trailer, even in sort of folded configuration, I don't think. Um, if there's anybody who is familiar with these things, how, how the um, launcher was transported, I'd be very interested to know whether it was kind of folded up and put it on, put on another trailer or if there was a, a jacking system and, and casters for it, I don't know. So, um, there we are. The um, the towing hook assembly for the Land Rover and trailer is fairly rudimentary as well. I should do those handles in um, in black. Those winding handles for the uh, for the uh, missile carrier itself. Um, the missile does sit quite nicely onto on the. Oh, sorry, I zoomed in. Well, that that boost has come adrift as well, so I need to fix that. But. Um, uh, the missile sits on there quite well anyway, so um, that's quite nice. It's got a little um, little recess in there for the body of the, the the weapon to sit in. So you can never do it right when you're filming, can you? So <laughs> and there's a closer look at the Herc anyway. It's um, there's a bit of there's some dodgy areas to touch up. Nowhere near finished yet. And needless to say, the blooming oh, this is such an old kit when I bought it. It had been opened and the cockpit canopy glass is broken. Now I've got another Hercules up in the stash which I'll probably nick the cockpit, um, well, it's not a canopy is it, the, the cockpit windows I'll, I'll nick from that kit or I might try and make 
some cockpit windows with some clear perspex that I've got. I might actually give a serious go to that. Um, the props are painted and ready to go on. Exhausts still need to be fitted underneath. The rest of the ramp assembly needs to um, needs to go ahead. And I think it will look quite tidy once the um, once the decals are on. I think it'll actually look quite smart. The plan is to make a base for it and pose it with the missiles being loaded, but all in good time. So there we are. That's uh, that's the update from Pete's Plastic Playground. And as I say, I have actually been doing a bit. So there it is. I'll put you back in the uh, in the cradle now. Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing those models that are underway at the moment, and um, I'll do some more updates as as, as and when. Um, as I say, I'm going to sit and have a go at tidying up that missile tonight. Um, it's just occurred to me, actually, that I could find a spare decal and cut out some red and black strips to make the, um, the bands around the fuselage, if you like, or the body of the rocket, the missile, um, rather than masking and painting. So I might give that a go and just just paint the body white and um, and use some decal material as bands. I was a stroke of genius there. <laughs> so good. Right, right. I hope everybody is keeping well. Um, those of you that are in uh, in furlough and lockdown in the moment, um, keep your chins up, chaps. And uh, you know, um, it won't last forever. I keep telling myself that that uh, perhaps by the time. Uh, next spring comes round we can all be in a better place um i don't know what am i missing at the moment i'm still going to work um the motorway is still ju just as busy as uh, as it has been since the end of the last lockdown i don't tend to go into town to the shops um my local model shop is closed but he's doing a click and collect service which i think is quite ingenious um the supermarket stuff gets delivered um so you know i <laughs> i'm not one to go to the pub but i understand for those that you know enjoy meeting friends at the pub that's going to be a bit difficult i suppose i was talking to my my wife earlier on what we'd really like to do is be able to go down to bournemouth and um see the christmas lights and maybe even stay the night in a hotel this christmas but i can't see that's going to happen um but hey, what will be will be. We'll have to roll with the punches and uh, and just go with it. Whatever will be will be. And, uh, and, and my best best wishes to you all. And, uh, you know, please look after yourselves and, um, and, and take care during this time. And uh, just keep keep um, keep spirits up and be mindful that it will all be over eventually and we can get back to normal. So um, good. Well, in the meantime, then happy modeling thanks for stopping by thanks for all the uh, subscriptions and um, comments and likes and so on it is very much appreciated and I do like it when I um, when I get a chance to sit and read them all and uh, more updates when something else has happened here in the man cave so, <laughs> um, Christmas I suppose won't be long I'll try and speak to you again before Christmas um, what's on the uh, uh, anybody, if, if you're writing to Santa for anything in particular, it'd be interesting to see. I definitely got um, my eyes on that new Bristol Beaufort from Airfix. And of course the Vulcan, if that eventually comes out. And that new Buccaneer as well. Have you seen the um, the RAF version of the Buccaneer? That looks really nice. I wouldn't mind a go at that. Um, having said that, I haven't built the Navy one yet. So. <laughs> and I think the Buccaneer, that was the subject of my first ever video about a year ago now. So... Um, and it's still in the stash. Anyway, all the best then, um, folks. And uh, take care. Be good. And uh, best wishes from Pete's Plastic Playground. Cheers now. Bye-bye.